the gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, good morning. How are you doing today? Cold? <laughs> it is cold. Brothers and sisters, as we draw closer to the great celebration of Christmas, and as the days of the year grow darker and colder, today we heard from, we heard that King Ahaz, in the first reading, received a prophecy from the prophet Isaiah. He received the vision about the coming of Emmanuel. He would receive that vision only after he humbled himself to God. Brothers and sisters, then the prophet Isaiah said, the Lord himself will give you a sign. A virgin shall conceive a son, and his name is Emmanuel. God who humbled himself to be with us. That's Emmanuel. On the same tone of humility, St. Paul in the second reading, make it clear that he was just a slave. He was a man who belonged to Jesus. He was under the authority of Jesus. His will, his mission, his apostleship, those things belong to Jesus. My brothers and sisters, most of us have heard our parents told us a story about how was their life before they meet each other. Have you, have you asked your parents and you may, you know, you may heard your parents told you, you know, hey, this is the way we met and like something like that. Mom or dad will go through the whole story. The town, you know, the house where they lived before and how our parents met, get engaged, get married and how we were born. Someone said, before you marry a person, you first make them use a computer with a slow internet to see who they really are. <laughs> Brothers, and then you know, oh, okay. You know. Brothers and sisters, today in the Gospel of Matthew, begin the story of the Incarnation. Matthew wants to tell us from the dad's side, from the father's side. It's about Joseph, a simple, a good man. And Matthew's words makes us believe and perhaps want to hear the details of Joseph's faith in God. Matthew wrote, Now the birth of Jesus took place in this way. Joseph and Mary are betrothed or engaged, but Mary is found to be with a child. Joseph has the right under the Mosaic law to divorce Mary, and he was about to divorce her secretly. But an angel appears. Just like when the angel said, Do not be afraid, Abraham, go to the promised land. Just like when the angel said, Do not be afraid, Moses, I will be with you when you speak to Pharaoh. Just like when the angel said, Do not be afraid, David, for the Lord will be your shepherd forever. And now the angel comes to Joseph and said, Do not be afraid, Joseph, to take Mary as your wife. My brothers and sisters, I believe that 
we are all like little Joseph. We each have our own ways of dealing with personal, material, or spiritual matters. Perhaps the voice, there is a voice we have already dimly listened in our hearts. Perhaps it said, do not be afraid to start over. It's a chance to rebuild something better for your life. Perhaps it said, do not be afraid to fail. It is better than not to try at all. Perhaps it said, do not be afraid to give up the good, to go to the great. Perhaps it said, don't be afraid to say what you feel, because life is too short to hide your feelings. And perhaps it said, don't be afraid to be different. Be yourself. My brothers and sisters, you and I may hear a word from a dark place, a word that banish all fear and encourage us to take one tiny leap of action to draw nearer to something we may not fully understand. But believe one thing, my brothers and sisters. The angel said to Joseph, don't be afraid because it is Emmanuel. Do not be afraid because God is with us. God is with you. Amen. 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 God bless you.